Welcome to the enchanting world of Aqualise, where the underwater festival shimmers with vibrant colors and electric tension. The coral and bioluminescent flora cast a kaleidoscope of light upon the gathered townsfolk, creating an atmosphere thick with anticipation. Join us as we dive into this captivating tale of courage and unity, where the heart of the ocean beats in rhythm with the hopes and dreams of its people. This is chapter three of our story, and the adventure is just beginning. Narana stood at the forefront of the festival, her heart pounding like the rhythmic pulse of the ocean itself. The crowd before her was a sea of faces, each one a mixture of hope and fear. Beside her, Finn, with his tousled hair glinting like seaweed in the soft glow, stood ready. His bright green eyes reflected both mischief and determination, a spark that mirrored the electric tension in the air. As the townsfolk murmured amongst themselves, Narana felt the weight of their expectations settle upon her shoulders. She had never sought the role of a leader, yet here she was, embracing it with fierce resolve. Her voice rang out, cutting through the murmur like a harpoon through water, as she declared, We cannot let Maris control us any longer. The crowd fell silent, their eyes turning toward her, searching for guidance. In that moment, Narana recalled the stories her grandmother had told her. Tales of bravery and sacrifice, of standing against the tide when darkness threatened to engulf the light. She took a deep breath, summoning the courage that had been forged in the depths of her heart. We must reclaim our memories. We must confront our fears. Her words ignited a spark within the townsfolk, a flicker of hope that began to spread like wildfire. Finn, emboldened by Narana's rallying cry, stepped forward. I can communicate with the sea creatures. They know the secrets of the ocean, and they can help us. His voice, once hesitant, now rang with conviction. The townsfolk exchanged glances, their expressions shifting from doubt to belief. The bond between Narana and Finn had transformed, each drawing strength from the other, their friendship a beacon in the encroaching darkness. As the festival's vibrant colors danced around them, Narana and Finn led the townsfolk toward the bakery, its shimmering facade a stark contrast against the dark waters. The glow of the enchanted pastries beckoned, but this time, it felt different. This time, they were not drawn in by the allure of sweet memories. They were armed with the knowledge of their own strength. The confrontation with Maris loomed ahead, a tempest of emotions swirling within Narana. She could sense the tragic past that clung to Maris like barnacles to a shipwreck, a vulnerability hidden beneath layers of enchantment. As they approached the bakery, the air thickened with the scent of nostalgia, sweet yet suffocating, a reminder of what had been lost.